did you know prophets were called by God to listen to his words and share his messages with people? Sometimes they had a message for just one person. Sometimes the message was for the whole nation. Or sometimes God even gave them a message for their enemies. Popcorn Trinity. Popcorn Mommy. Popcorn Nova. <laughs> Popcorn Mommy. <laughs> Sometimes God had them do some unusual things to get the attention of the people. Popcorn Novus. Popcorn Mommy. Popcorn Trinity. Popcorn Mommy. <laughs> Each one knew it was a big responsibility, but God promised to be with them and give them words to say. Now we're going to read Ezekiel 37, 1-4. And Jeremiah, Jeremiah, and said the one who you said here and sent me. Oh, very good. Let's, let's read it still though, 1-4. And we want NASB. What is that? And what? ASB? It's a it's a version that I like um, because it highlight it um, capitalizes God's name, so I like that. Okay, the vision of the valley of dry bones. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and He brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley, and it was full of bones. Popcorn Trinity. Popcorn Mommy. He had me pass among them all around, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. Popcorn Novus. And then he said to me, <laughs> Son of man, can these bones live? I answered. Lord God, you, you yourself know again. No emotion to Hold me. on. Hold uh, on. No, it's in popcorn. Again. Again. He said to me, prophecy. Prophesy? Prophesy over the, these bones. And say to them, you dry bone, hear the word of the Lord. Very good. And this is actually Ezekiel what, in the valley of the dry bone. You know what song was made from this um, passage? No. No. Then bone, then bone, then. <laughs> oh, I remember. Dry bone, then bone, then bone. <laughs> oh, then. I remember that song was from church. Yeah, so this yeah. song dum, is top. Dum, 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 yeah, dum, that. Dum, 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 A A I E D O S. No, no, it's actually the bones came together. And then muscles and tendons start to form around the bone, and then it, it's a full human at the end um, in the vision that that happened. It wasn't like a ghost, right? It's actually a physical human, a physical soldier. So that is what. Who was writing this? The vision of the Valley of Dry Bone. Who was writing it? Okay. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, very I good. I wanted to say it. Okay. I now, don't need it to think. <laughs> oh. Okay, Isaiah 6 8. Isaiah, Isaiah 6, 6 8. 8. Are you supposed to write it down? Not yet. So, oh, maybe you're right. Maybe we should. Okay, so right here. God, which one was it? When God was looking for a messenger, I said, here I am, send me. And you said, this one you think is Jeremiah, right? Why is it and, so tiny? Yeah, it's so tiny. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so 
What is it? <laughs> we just read Ezekiel. Which one is it for Ezekiel? Very good. God showed me a vision of a valley full of dried up human bones and told me to speak to them. That is Ezekiel. And then, so, obviously, what should this be? Isaiah. Very good, Isaiah. Isaiah. But we will still read about it and check it. 6 8. There I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Rose, shall I say? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Uh oh, so we did it wrong. Here I am, send me is who? That was Maya. No, Isaiah. We just read about him. Isaiah said that, Here I am, send me. And so, Jeremiah 1 4 to 7. Jeremiah 1 4 to 7. Now the word of the Lord came to me. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Papa Novus. Then I said, O oh Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak because I am youth a youth uh-huh but the lord said to me hey do not say i am a youth because popcorn, me, popcorn, me. popcorn trendy because everywhere i send you you should go and all that I command you you should flee. very good Mommy. so who said I thought I was too young to be his messenger. Jeremiah! But God told me that he has chosen me to be a prophet before I was even born. Jeremiah had that, right? Yes. Yeah. Very good, very good. So over here, so let's see. What did the prophet do? Circle if yes, cross out if no. So we're going to use or... I guess free hand sounds good. Okay, so does a prophet listen to God? Yes. Yes. Does a prophet share God's messages? Yes. Does a prophet pray for others? Yes. No. Yes, they do. <laughs> does a prophet obey God? Yes. Does a prophet give warnings? Yes. Does a prophet rule the nation? No. They warn the nation, right? They talk to their, they have a message. Does a, me a prophet write down what God said? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, they usually do. No, no, no. No, 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 no they no, do no, not no. punish. Who punishes? God. God. I'm very good. They do not <laughs> they did not obey God. Uh, no, they st they just warn. God is the one who punished. If they do not obey him, yeah, he, he will kill, uh, punish them. Well, he will keep on telling them to repent, repent, repent. But if they keep on, no, 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 I'm not going to repent, then yes, he will have to punish. So he has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good. good? And what does the, the Lord require you to act justly, justly, to young mercy, mm -hmm. and to walk humbly with your God. Very good. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6. Okay, eight. let's do it one more time with the hand motion together. Okay? <laughs> and he has he shown has you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, 
to walk humbly with your God. My I got six, eight. eight. Very good. Bye.